a year after the end of season one and six months after the excellent bridge episode 400 days the walking dead game season two is finally here and amid all the excitement leading up to its release there's also been a fair amount of concern could season two possibly live up to the high expectations set after season one having had the chance to play it for myself i can say that the answer is thankfully a resounding yes First, we'll deal with the most obvious aspects of the game, the controls, gameplay, and graphics. Pretty much everything on this end is the exact same as it was in Season 1. The same cel-shaded comic book art style returns, and it still looks good. Facial animations are still a standout for the franchise. It's very easy to figure out what a character's emotions can be just by looking at their face. You can see their eyes and mouth and their expression change depending on whether they're happy, or whether they're sad, angry, scared, etc. And it certainly goes a long way towards adding to the believability of the game. Of course, it's not all well on the technical side. The same frame rate stutters and awkward animation transitions that were present throughout Season 1 are still here for this episode, and they're still a little jarring at times. It's nothing that breaks the immersion, but it is certainly noticeable. As far as the gameplay and controls go, it's pretty much the same thing as Season 1 as well. The base mechanics still consist of exploring limited environments, searching for items that can then be used to solve simple puzzles. On the combat side of things, it's still more or less the quick time events that we're all used to from Season 1, though with a little bit more variety than last time. In Season 1, it mostly amounted to mashing a button over and over before you got a prompt to mash different buttons. This time, the quick time events involve much more in the way of flicking the control sticks, holding buttons, etc. Now, that may not sound particularly exciting, and it never really is, but it still adds a bit of variety. Instead of just mashing buttons repeatedly, sometimes you might have to hold something and then rotate the stick in a specific direction, or turn the sticks in a way to dodge zombies as they come rushing at you. It's not Call of Duty or anything, but it does do a little bit to add to some variety and keep things from getting quite as stale as they could during the action sequences of Season 1. And now on to the part that people truly care about when they play The Walking Dead, the story and the characters. For those worried that The Walking Dead would lose its edge in a second season, I can put those fears to rest now by saying that it certainly doesn't, at least not in this episode. Most of the new characters seem fairly interesting, though I was disappointed by how little screen time some of them got. The game introduces an entirely new cast of characters, but whereas episode one of the first season gave us at least a decent amount of face time with every character, and even sent us on unique little fetch quests with the two major characters of the episode, Carly and Doug, to let us get attached to these characters, get to know what they were like, we don't really get the same treatment with many of the new characters. Thankfully, most of these characters play relatively minor roles, though, and the characters that do have big roles in the main plot get enough screen time for you to get to know them and decide whether or not you like them. Much publicized returning characters Omid and Krista are still just as great as they were in the first season, and their voice actors haven't missed a beat during the year-long gap between their last appearances. In fact, the voice acting of this episode is one of its strongest suits. Every single one of the characters delivers an excellent vocal performance. You can really pick up on all the details of the characters and what they're saying, particularly the actress who plays Clementine, who does a good job of showing how the character has evolved and matured over the almost year and a half since the events of season one. And speaking of Clementine, she's the obvious star of the episode both as the focus of the narrative and as an actual character. As I just said, the voice actress does an amazing job of playing the character. You get a real sense of just how much this young girl has been changed by the events of the zombie apocalypse. She just sounds tired, like she finally wants to catch a break from all the crap the apocalypse has thrown at her, and just have a week where everything is quiet and safe. And you genuinely feel bad for the character, as likable as she was in season one, playing as her, which many fans feared would make her less relatable, has actually made her more so. Playing as her in this episode adds an impact to the events of the game and the way they would change a little girl in a way that we didn't quite get to see throughout most of season one. 
Like most of the characters last season stated, in fact, she was something of an enigma as far as how the events of the series actually changed her. Playing as her, you finally get a sense of how all that happened, and it's great. As for the actual main narrative itself, it's clear that Episode 1's purpose is mostly to set up the events of the rest of the season, but it does so fairly well. Most of the major characters are introduced and given at least enough screen time to get to know their personalities a bit, and we're given a strong hint at who the main antagonist is going to be. It's not the kind of pilot episode that starts out poor, only to build up to a good season. Make no mistake, the narratives, characters, and writing of Episode 1 are just as strong as Season 1. But you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because! Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid is a good name. I like it. Thank you, Clementine. You always agree with him. Because I'm always right. And there you have it. The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 1, All That Remains. How does it hold up to Season 1? Extremely well. Some of the technical and graphical issues that plagued Season 1 are still present, and the base gameplay of collecting items and mashing buttons and quick time events still isn't particularly exciting. But the excellent characters, strong writing, and voice acting from Season 1 are still here in Season 2, and it's still just as enjoyable, just as smart, and just as nerve-wracking as Season 1 was. Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 1 gets a score of a 9.0 out of 10. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to check out my channel, give this video a like, share, and maybe subscribe if you really enjoyed it, and have a great day. How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? I'm still not bitten. I never was.